into the camera when we're looking at it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I left the oven on as well. Oh my god. Mmm, the heat on my tits. <laughs> so lovely. Empanadas. Boom, oh, baby. Beautiful. Have you ever seen a spread so elegant? Never. Same. Same. Does this count as a charcuterie board? It does. Let's just say it does. People like to think they're real, but most people are fake. On Naked Brunch, we get down to the naked truth and expose the fakes. It's time for Naked, Naked, Naked Brunch. It's Naked Brunch. Hello, and welcome to Naked Brunch, the show where I, your host, Sid, get down to people's naked truth using hard-hitting, gotcha journalism tactics and science while brunching naked. Um, today I have a very lovely guest, Katie Hosmer, my very best friend who I met just last week, and, uh, yeah, she is a very funny, very talented, very beautiful comedian. What made you want to be a comedian? Honestly, I feel like nothing in the world is better than comedy. Like, also, I grew up in LA, so I think I was around like a lot of the sense of you can be a part of the entertainment industry if you want to be. So, LA. I would mm -hmm. say LA is notorious for fake people. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Katie, um, would you consider yourself a fake person or a real person? Wow, that's a tough question. I think I strive to be real, but you know, there are times when I can feel myself being fake. You know, I feel like my life is a perpetual trying to achieve and find who I really am and like being that person. But we're gonna find out how real you are. Oh, shit. In our first segment, am I really who I say I am? Oh no, I didn't expect this. They never expected. They never expected. You told me the words, the three words you would use to describe yourself are uh, neurotic, all right, all right, yeah. Okay, how do you feel? I feel really zen. No stress? No stress. <laughs> Fake. Oh, snap. You also said that you're open-minded. <clears throat> Would you like to slam your head down on the counter and open up your skull? Um, I would, I'm so like, nervous of putting other people out that I think that'd just be a big problem for you and your partner to like clean up the blood, okay. have to call an ambulance. Okay. I don't want to put you out, which is the only reason I'm not doing it. Fake. Oh my god. This is so good. Lastly, Katie, you said that you're optimistic. The future? The future is hot. The future is sexy. The future is like getting me wet a little bit. I would say it's optimistic. So that's yes. real. That's a one real point. One out of three. Thirty percent real so far. Yes. That's which is pretty good for an LA person. Thank you. Sid, so do you like to suck dick? Question, when you're doing it, do you ever get like a little bit teary-eyed, a little bit choked up? Is it just me? You know, because it's so beautiful. Like, every little girl dreams of the moment when they're like, looking up at their man and they're just like, Ugh, uh, uh. Did I throw up on his dick? Oh my god. 
I did it. I'm amazing. Katie, thank you for sharing. Now, so far you're at a 30% realness. I, uh, I am worried for how the rest of this is gonna go. Do we still get to be friends if I'm not 100% real at the end of this? Mmm. It's good, right? It's delicious. I'm really good at panada. You're good. Yeah, I'm really good at this. I'm good at brunch. Yeah. I'm good at brunch. Okay, Katie, mm -hmm. are you ready for the next segment? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, we're gonna play a game I'm calling How Fit Are You? According to ideapod.com, a notorious online journal of science, there are 16 things all fake people do. Yeah. We're gonna go through just six of those things to see how fake you are. Okay. How convenient was it for you to get here? Pretty convenient. Uh, number one. Fake people are only around when it's convenient for them, so, uh, oh, fuck. fake. Katie? K Katie? I need, I need help cutting this cheese. Katie? Fake people disappear when you need them most. Sometimes you do something and, and, and it changes you. And you're not sure, this, has this changed me for the better or for the worse? What do you, what do you think, K Katie? Katie! Katie! God. Fake people don't listen when you talk. We both like it when people take their shoes off when they enter our homes. We do. I think that's pretty cool. I do too. I mean, I don't know if you think of it this way, but for me, it's like, why would, the, you're wearing those shoes into public restrooms. It's disgusting. Also, if you wear our clothes in public and then you sit on my bed with them, that's a major problem for me. I, it's just not right. I will murder you. Fake people uh, talk behind your back. Oh my God. Your hands are like freezing. It's wild. It's wild, yo. Ow! Fuck, Kitty! I'm That's sorry. so hot! What the fuck? Oh god. Do you just like go from cold to hot? Yeah, I mean, this is something I do. It's like. It's a genetic condition. Ugh. Fake people are extremely hot and cold without warning. Kitty, did you initiate this brunch date? Uh, no. Fake people never initiate hangouts. So. This is so embarrassing. Yeah, it is embarrassing. Okay, Katie. Yes? We're down to our final segment. Ooh! You've proven yourself to be mostly fake. I'm hoping that you can turn it all around in this round. I'm going to be able to. I'm, I'm going to be real. You have a lot of faith in yourself. Now, Katie, you said that you are a Sagittarius. Yes. And you said that um, you very much believe in horoscopes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to play a game. Uh, do I align with my sign? Ooh. Because as we know, according to science, real people really identify with their zodiac signs. So, I have consulted dailyhoroscope.com for today, September 26th. And um, I have written down three different Predictions. That's my cat. Um, for three different horoscopes. And um, I'm going to need you to identify which one is for the Sagittarius. 
I got this. I got this. I'm an astrologist by hobby. Astrologists, notoriously fake people, so. All right, here we go. Number one. There's excitement today that indicates things are happening. Things are changing. Stay alert and in tune with what's going on around you. Do your part to help the world evolve to a happier, more peaceful place. Are you going to remember that? Yes. Okay. Second, you should mesh quite well with the prevailing energy today. There's a powerful transformative force helping to give greater strength to your ego and vitality. Note the fiery energy about the day that encourages your dynamic and forceful personality. You got it? Yes. Last one. Two very different things. Things may be happening too fast around you today. That doesn't mean you have to join in the frenzied pace. You're probably much better off sticking with your methodical approach. People may be a bit jumpy, so do your best to be the stable one in the group. Wow. I'm not the alpha. I feel like I'm in. Okay, do I pick? Yes. Okay, so I'm between number one and number two for Sagittarius because number one really did feel like my day. Like, I'm bit, it's a very exciting day for me. I'm doing naked brunch um, and also, you know, things are just exciting. We're in Austin, Texas, it's exciting. But I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna go with the third one because my day has felt like it's moving insanely fast. And I have been using my methodical approach of, uh, you know, making lists, crossing things off to make sure my stuff gets done. So that's my final answer, number three. That's, that's, that's us. That's Sagittarius energy right there. Katie. Oh, Katie. I got it. Katie, you have done it. <gasps> the third one was indeed Sagittarius. Mm, mm, mm. She is real, a real one. Wow, this is a this is a naked brunch first. I'm real, bitch. She's yeah, real. she's real. Mmm. Well, so cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Do I have like spinach in my teeth? No.